Hello and welcome. Recently, a couple of my subscribers asked me to do a bike check for them. Well, the thing is, I've got a sufficient number of bikes, by good fortune and luck, that I'm breaking it up into two videos. First one is going to be all mountain bikes. The second one is going to be road bikes, hybrids, and one that's a little bit difficult to classify. You'll know it when you see it. So, sit back and I hope enjoy. At the end of this video, there's a link to a playlist which I created for a first look at all of these bikes. In no particular order, let's begin with my 2019 Specialized Rock Hopper. I bought this from my local bike shop on a whim. Yeah, I admit it was an impulse purchase, but uh, it's been a good bike. This bike accounts for probably half of my trail riding, even though it only accounts for one-fifth of my mountain bike inventory. It's just I don't know. It's, it's a very fun bike. The cockpit has been modified. I added Rock Bro grips, a Wake 720 millimeter handlebar. It still has the stock stem. The front end is otherwise stock with the factory wheels, brake rotors, and ground control front wheel. The fork is the stock SR Suntour XCT 100 mil fork. It still has the stock 3x8 drivetrain with the house brand Stout 3x crankset. It's got an Altus front derailleur and a Tourney rear derailleur. Much as I enjoy this bike, it's time for some upgrades. I bought a 1x9 wide range conversion kit and a KS E10 dropper post. An external bracket crankset is en route and I'm exploring fork options. Next up is my 2018 Mongoose XR Pro. I bought this bike with the express purpose of upgrading it over a period of time and boy did I. Pretty much all that's left at stock is the frame, the wheels, the brakes, and uh, through malfunction of an air fork recently, I put the stock SR Suntour XCT fork back on it as a stopgap measure. I mean, it works, but you can do better. The cockpit has been modified with a 720 millimeter wide LWA carbon fiber handlebar which I bought from the pros closet, so I'm confident of its quality. Uh, the stem is a Wake 45 millimeter. The grips are the clamp-ons from the originals on my rock hopper. As I said a moment ago, I had to put the stock XCT fork back on because the aerial air fork stopped working. I had to take that apart and see if it can be fixed or replaced one or the other. The tires front and rear are Schwalbe Rapid Robs and uh, these are pretty good all-purpose tires. The rear suspension now boasts a DNM air fork and uh, I also went to a one by conversion. This is an IXF and snail combo external bracket I guess you could say Holotech style uh, crank set. Out back, I've got a SRAM 10 speed. Uh, as I recall, that goes from 14 to 36, and a SRAM X5 rear derailleur. Up top, I've got the stock saddle and a KS E10 drop a post and that has been the best improvement for riding. This is a diamond back response 
which I bought last year from my local bike shop to use as a loaner. My best guess is that it's a 2012, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of information out there on the internet. At any rate, it's a nice little bike, 26 inch wheels, uh, some sort of house brand suspension fork, and uh, it's largely original except for the tires. The cockpit appears to be stock as near as I can tell. It's got some fairly wide aluminum handlebars and it's got the stock stem and stock combo 3x7 Shimano trigger shifters and stock clamp-on handlebar grips. The fork appears to be stock as well. It's a grind OS rated at 100 millimeters, but I'm thinking it's probably closer to 80 or so. The tires are front and rear Bond Traeger trail connection tires, which the bike shop installed when they put it up for sale. And these are nice all-purpose tires, if a bit narrow. The drivetrain includes the stock Olivio 3x uh, crank set. As you can see, it's gotten some use over the years, and it is modular. It's also rocking the old style, what I think of as shin grater pedals. The rear includes what I believe is a free wheel, but I haven't had it apart, and an Altus derailleur. The front derailleur, by the way, is generic. Obviously, the stock saddle has seen some wear over the years. It's a WTB. It's still functional, if not pretty. Now we come to the matriarch of my mountain bike fleet. This is my 1994 L.L. Bean Approach. I bought this new a very long time ago. It's a 26er. Obviously, it's rigid. The salesman at the time told me that it was essentially a rebranded specialized hard rock, and I have seen collaborating information on the internet. Despite its age and its relatively small size and lack of suspension, this bike is just riotously fun to ride. Although with the 1128 tooth rears, it's not the best climber in the world. Up top, I replaced the original quill stem with a quill stem adapter, a wake 45 millimeter stem, the 720 millimeter aluminum handlebars that came with the rock hopper, the grips are generic big box slip-ons, and the shifters are some really unpleasant, I will say, Shimano 20A70s. Both the grips and the shifters are slated for upgrades. In fact, I recently picked up a set of age-appropriate Altus shifters, so that's going to be pretty nice. The wheels, front and rear, are Richie's that came from an old Bridgestone MB1, which I parted out. The tires are Goodyear's, distributed by Kent. Now, the bike still has the stock Olivio 3x crank set with an Olivio front derailleur and an Olivio rear derailleur. And... Uh, as I said earlier, that, uh, that gear set's not really the best thing in the world for climbing, but this bike is just, just super, super fun to ride every place else. The saddle, well, that's a big box store saddle. I saved the biggest bike for last. This is my 2019 Mongoose Dolomite, and boy howdy, it is a lot of fun for under 300 bucks. Well, I say under 300 bucks. I have added a few things here and there, but we'll get to that shortly. I bought this bike to have something to do in the winter, and I didn't want to spend a huge sum of money on a fat bike that I wasn't going to be using all the time. 
Well, as it turns out, this bike's fun to ride any time of the year. Oddly, the bike originally came with a small diameter, old style steel handlebar connected to the one and one eighth inch steerer tube. So I quickly swapped those out with a wake 45 millimeter stem, a wake 720 millimeter handlebar, and some nifty Rock Bros clamp on grips. All of the rolling stock is, well, stock. These blue rims have a very fine metallic component in the paint job. It's very pretty, but unfortunately it doesn't come through in the video. The drivetrain consists of the stock 36 tooth one by crank set and a set of Rock Bros resin pedals. I got those because they are really grippy. Out back, I upgraded to a Sunrace 34 tooth 8 speed freewheel from the stock 7 speed and a tourney derailleur. And now this puppy climbs well, as reasonably well as a bike of this weight could. But when I ride on the snow, speed is not an issue. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. It does help the channel. And if you have not done so yet, consider subscribing. And in closing, I just want to wish you all good health, happiness, and well-being during these troubling times. We will get through this, and we will get through this together. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it every time you do. Bye.